Hello, in this tutorial we're going to be learning to do wire writing, so we're going to learn how to personalise our jewellery. So you can see here we've got the word love and a little heart. So if we have a look at the components that we've got, we've got our silver plated round copper wire and we've got a 0.8 millimetre. And the other components, the findings that we've got, we've got some shepherd hooks, We've got some toggle clasps, we've got some jump rings, all head pins, and a length of chain. And the tools that we're going to use, we're going to use our pliers, so we'll be using our snips, the yellow handle, and our chain nose pliers with the red handle, and our round nose pliers with the blue handle. So our starting point is going to be to cut a length of wire. So what we want to make sure is that we've got enough to do the word and the little heart at the end. So to create something, a word that's probably going to be about an inch long, I'm going to take about 20 to 30 centimetres and that should be more than enough. So just while I start, I'm just going to run the wire through my fingers and get rid of any kinks. And I take my snips and cut the wire. So my starting point is going to be doing a little loop. So the first loop means that we know we've definitely got somewhere to connect to. So to make the loop, I'm going to use the round nose pliers because they've got the perfect shape head on them. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to pop the wire in between and just start to roll towards me to create a loop. So that initial loop is a good place to hang from. So as I hold the wire, I'm going to pop it back on the pliers and just bring up. Now my next move on the wire, that will, that will dictate of how high the total of the word is. So if I pop my pliers in here, the whole word will be that high. So I need to bring it down ever so slightly. And again, grip in and bring the wire round. So I'm bringing the wire round and I'm going behind everything that I've done so far. So there's my start of my L. I'm just going to bring down now and again, drop my pliers in. And really, I've got it probably midway down into the pliers. I'm going to start to push round just to get that bottom curve of the L. Let's see. So I'm now going to bring the pliers back into that curve and take the wire all the way around at the front of the L that I've done so far. And the bottom of the L is now going to become the baseline. So all of the letters are going to run along, level along that baseline. So we're now going to go on to the next letter, which is our O. So I'm just going to start. So I'm pushing with my finger, this finger here, against the pliers and starting to curve round. So I'm going to pop my pliers down now and just start to bring that all the way around to get that nice O. I take my pliers back and just pop it into that curve that I've just created and tighten that curve. I'm taking it all the way, all the way around so that I form a full circle with the wire. So you can see we've now got an O, but we need to get this wire so it's pointing in this direction so that we can keep writing. So I'm gonna pop my pliers back in and follow it round. So on that top part of the O, you're going to have a thickness of two wires. And if you need to, you can pop them into your chain nose, your red handled pliers, and just squeeze down so that it sits nicely. So that you've got the illusion of a single wire at the front. So now that I've got the full, full letter O, I'm going to swap back to my round nose pliers, just create a little bend. So I'm just taking, got my round nose pliers and a little bend towards the back of the word. 
swap my pliers back over and just bring down the start of one side of the V. So I'm coming down at the back and coming out at a slight angle. So this again is where I look at the, the baseline, so the bottom of the L and the bottom of the O, and I want to line up the bottom of the V. So I've got my chain nose pliers. I'm going to take the wire all the way at the front. So I've come in front of everything that I've done. And this is making the other side of the V. And I can go in an angle that to, so that it's nice and even and open it out a little bit if I need to. So we're also looking at a couple of things here. We're looking at the height of the letter and we're looking at the width of the letter. So if I needed to, if I needed to make it narrower, I could just push in. If I need to make it wider, just pull it out a little bit. So my next move is to, with my chain nose pliers still, is to grip and take that wire all the way at the back of everything that we've done. And that's bringing it down. So I've now got my L, my O and my V. And now this wire is in the right place to start the E. So I'm just going to push in just ever so slightly, turn it on its side, grip across and come out a bit of an angle. I'm going to move my pliers around the angle and go take, bring the wire around and it's coming all the way in front of everything that I've done so far. I'm tucking in, pop my pliers down and start to bring in nice and tightly and curve round and that's going to give me my E. So we've got our, we've got our word, love, but what we want is if we ha have a little think about where we're going to, how we're going to hang this, if we're going to put it on a necklace. So we've got a nice hanging, high hanging point on this side at the L, but we've actually got nothing to hang here. We could finish with a little loop on the end of the E like we started with. But an alternative would be so that we've got an even high hanging area is to create a little heart here. So I'm going to make sure that I'm totally happy with my E and grip across. And I'm just going to kick that wire just out ever so slightly so we've got a little bit of an angle. And I'll swap my pliers over, back to my round nose pliers because I want to make the round shape of the heart. I'm going to bring that all the way in front of everything that I've done to create almost like a pear shape. So if I bring that out, you can just see almost like a teardrop here. I'm going to swap my pliers over, back to my chain nose, and I grip across the bottom, the curved part of that pear or that teardrop shape, and bring the wire forward all the way in front. So we can see like that. I'm going to drop that in, so I'm turning it round, and I pop that back in my pliers and just give that a pinch together. So again, when I look at it, in the same way of this part of the O, that when I look at it from the front, I've got that illusion of the single wire, but we know we've got a two thickness depth. So I'm going to grip now on that, the bit that I've just pinched down, and again, I'm going to bring that round that wire all the way around in front of everything that I've done and bring round till it meets that point there. And we've got our heart shape. Now to lock that in place, I'm just going to grip here and we're going to take this and wrap all the way around at the base. And we're going to do one full wrap. And we can go in with our snips our side cutters and cut the tail off. We've still got a little sharp edge there. So we're just going to go in with our chain nose pliers and just with a rolling motion, just tuck that little tail in. So you've now got two high hanging points, which are ideal for us to add in our jump rings. So if we have a look now and move to have a look at our findings. So what we're going to need is we'll need our toggle clasp. We'll need the word itself. We'll need some jump rings. 
and some chain. So what we can do now is, depending on the length, the total length of the necklace that you want, we're going to open and close some jump rings. So we'll use the one side of the chain and I open and close my jump rings. So the jump rings have a little saw mark. So you want to have that so that it's pointing at the top. We've got our two sets of pliers and we're going to open and close like a door or like a gate. So we're going to pull forward towards you and pop one end on one side of the chain. And on the other, we're going to pop on to the heart. And again, in the same way, we're going to close. So we're going to pull, pull the two ends together and let that fall down. So on the other side, we're going to do exactly the same with the jump rings. So we're going to get one of the jump rings, make sure that the little saw mark is open at the top, two pliers either side and open up and pop that on to the other side. And again, we'll find our high hanging point, which is the top of the L, and just slide that in. And again, close the jump ring. So to finish off, depending on what length you wanted, do exactly the same. So I'm going to cut off through the, through the chain with my snips. You can keep that chain for another project. I'm going to take my toggle clasp. So my toggle clasp has got a little temporary jump ring in the middle, so I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to find where the saw mark is and take my pliers and open up to separate the two. So I can either use that jump ring or I can use some of the others. And again, I'm going to open and find the other end of the chain and pop that on and pop the one side, the bar. And my next one, open and close the jump ring. So again, let's find the saw mark. Have that at the top. Open and close. Pop that onto the link. And pop that on and again, close up and close up nice and neatly so that it joins up. So you've got now your toggle clasp. And so now you've got your, your little personalised love necklace. So you can see it's a really, really great way of personalising all of your jewellery. So you can do lots and lots of names. So you've got it's a really, really nice look if you did um, for bridal pieces. We've got the word bride there. And if you're feeling really, really, really brave, you could do the longer bridesmaid. So there's lots and lots of different, different words and different fonts, different styles of wire writing. It's a really useful, really useful style of jewellery to have, to make.